Okay, in my last video, I took on Frontier by seeing if I could get away with putting my entire trip in a bag that was smaller than their personal item dimensions. And in doing so, I ended up going with the Bellroy Via Work Pack, a nice little compact 18 liter, good for carry on, good for everyday use, good for going down for the coffee shop, going to work, commuting, whatever it is you might find, this little bag can do quite a bit. Let's get into it. Okay, so when it comes to the Bellroy Via Work Pack, I got to test this in two different ways. I got to test this on my Frontier flight, which is the loadout that I currently have. So you can see how I packed an entire four day trip, compact and minimally in this small bag. And then I also got to use it for work since I work remotely and I work from home. I went down to my local coffee shop where I love to hang out and get a breakfast burrito. Sometimes I'll take my boy Max, my little dog who's just sleeping off scene screen because he is he's had a big day. It's early, it's 7 a.m., but he's had a big day already. He went for a walk. And in doing so, I got to test this in two different ways, and I really enjoyed it every single way that I sliced it. So without further ado, let's break this thing down. Okay, so let's go over the specs on this bag real quick. Like I mentioned, it's 18 liters empty. It is 1.4 pounds. The material on this is 100% recycled external fabric and lining, and this bag specifically is leather free. On top of that, you also get a 16 inch laptop sleeve, three carry modes, and that wonderful luggage pass through here at the back, like I mentioned. Zippers on this bag are WeatherGuard YKK on the main compartment. Now these are great because they're not too big, but they get in the way, but they are big enough to make that opening easy. On top of that, the fact that you get two zippers allows you to really control how you load out the inside and how you wanna access that. If you wanna just open up one zipper and get in one part, you can, or you can open it all the way, you can open them together, and you can kind of decide which side of the bag you wanna get into, or you can open it all the way up. And this bag does have a nice wide mouth opening which is even better when it comes to finding what's inside of there or getting any kind of items out now the main compartment is the one that has the weather guard zips on them now the other zip is here at the front for this front flap now this is not weather guard the only weather resistant you get on this is the little flap that goes over it so when it comes to the weather resistant factor of this bag I wasn't caught in any kind of downstorms or any kind of like rainstorms or anything like that which is Interesting because I did test this in Florida and it did rain, but I wasn't going to go walk out in the humid rain of Florida just to test the weather resistance of a bag. I have, I have standards. I have things that I'm willing to do and things I'm not willing to do and suffer in 100 degree humidity weather rainstorms in Florida, the armpit of the world, is not one of the things I'm willing to do. But overall with the weather resistant, I know that this fabric and the weather guard zips are, the only thing I'd be concerned about is if it was a big torrential downstorm, I'd be a little worried about this front compartment as it's not weather guard, but this flap does add a little extra security in that sense. So when it comes to the straps and handles on this bag, I'm a big fan. You have two tote kind of carry straps here, which is not something that I typically would use on a bag like this. But in doing my challenge, one of the things that I recommend when it comes to trying to take a bag on any airline that is smaller than the dimensions is to use body blocking. So basically think of it as your body blocking and obstructing the view from the gate attendant on how big the bag really is. So when I was doing this, I had it down near my side, kind of tucked behind me, which is an advantage that everyone should definitely use. And using these handles to do so was really nice. Not only are they easy to find, they're not really in the way from opening the main compartment, which was my main concern with these, but they're easy to grab, they're comfortable, and they do a really good job. And then we have the straps on the back of this bag. Now these are a little bit thin and a little bit minimal, but if we're being honest, you're not gonna be packing out this bag super heavy. The loadout that I have for my Frontier flight is a travel minimal loadout, which is a little heavy, but when I went down to like work at the coffee shop, or if you're just using this for simple EDC, I would say that the average person isn't gonna be bringing a giant packing cube of clothes, a toiletry kit, extra tech gear, a laptop, all that items. Those are really travel specific items for EDC and work, things like maybe a jacket, a computer, Computer, some snacks, a water bottle, and such, this bag's not gonna be heavy. So the fact that these straps are minimal and a little small isn't that bad because even as heavy as I have it, I didn't find it to get uncomfortable or to dig into my shoulders really at all, which is another really big benefit of the Bellroy bags. So with that being said, this is me wearing the bag. I am 5'8", around 170 pounds. Like I said, this is an 18 liter bag on me. I'm a big fan, super comfortable, sits on your back, right? I think no matter what your frame is, large or small, this bag is gonna work because it can either look even smaller on your frame, which I don't think is a bad thing, or you can carry a tote, or it might take up a lot of your bag, which some people also like that 
as well. The main complaint I have about this bag and the thing that was a huge bummer because it's something that I like to do a lot is the ability to adjust these straps. So though these straps are comfortable, once you get them adjusted where you want them, they are pretty hard to adjust on the fly. Unlike typical like adjuster straps, these you have to put a little bit more into them. You have to like manually really adjust them. You can't quickly loosen it to sling the bag off and then quickly tighten it. There is no like pull straps to pull on to tighten and no like quick release to like loosen it. Unfortunately, I found that the only way I could really accurately kind of adjust these straps was putting it down on the ground, putting it up against me and then, you know, loosening them manually and then tightening them and making sure it fits. So once I got it to where it was, I didn't really need to adjust it. And Let's be honest, I wasn't going to because I really couldn't on the fly. So that is the one thing is that once you have this bag dialed in on where you want the straps, you might as well just leave it there because adjusting this quickly or easily when you're on the go just was not something I was able to do. Hey everyone, Editor Odie here. Real quick to let you know, this video is sponsored by Bellroy. If you go to the description of this video, down there there'll be a link to Bellroy's website. If you click that, it'll give you an exclusive 10% off discount code. So now is a great time for you to try any of the Bellroy products that maybe you've been eyeing. This is not an affiliate link by any means. But this is something nice that Bellroy wanted to share with you, the lovely viewer. And I love to absolutely give you a chance to try out one of these great products. So use that 10% off discount code from Bellroy, link in the description. And now on with the inside of this bag. Finger guns. Okay, so for this front compartment, you can see here a little bit better, there is no YKK zip, but this front compartment is pretty compact. In terms of what you put in the main compartment is definitely gonna affect the dimension of this outer compartment. Now, for me, I threw my tech pouch in here from when I was traveling. This had all my chargers, my action camera that I was using, everything that I might need for electronics, charging devices, my iPhone charger, everything within this pouch. Now you also in here have some organization bits, if you can see. Now in one of those, I like to put my wallet, just makes me feel a little bit more secured. It's a good spot for it. And then in that same compartment is where I put my Apple AirTag. I never travel without these. I would highly recommend getting some kind of tracker for your bag when you're traveling. They can always be a huge handiness. In that same little pocket, actually, you have this little key clip. So if you wanted to have your keys for when you're traveling or you're commuting, those easily go in there as well. And then next to that, you have two small pin guys. Now the organization on the front of this bag, in my opinion, is not my favorite. I don't really typically use the organization like that, but the fact that it's so compact and so tight, it's not something that I'd wanna put pins or notebooks in. I really liked utilizing my pouches and stuff in this front compartment. But if you were gonna be packing out the main compartment a little less, so it's not as like tight and up against this front compartment, then you could easily utilize the front organization. When I take everything out, you'll be able to see just how much more room you have to work with in this front compartment. The reason it's so tight for me is because I have the main compartment packed out pretty hard. So then when it comes to the large mouth opening, this is one of the things that I am a big fan of, right? So you get this really, really nice, large mouth opening making it super easy to see what's in here now what i have in here is my gravel toiletry kit this is a minimal one from gravel absolutely love this thing this is great if you only want to bring a couple items with you then you cannot go wrong with this one from gravel and then honestly besides that right below that is my packing cube now when it comes to my packing cube this is from the tropic feel nest bag that i just did a first look on i really wanted to test out this packing cube i'm going to be testing out the whole system this packing cube off the rip being 10 liters i love this thing like, i'm actually super in love with this thing so much that i might be doing another packing cube video here shortly because i want to talk about this more this is a great great packing cube if you have any questions about this right now hit me up in the comments below and i'll answer them for you uh but full review of the Nest system, including this packing cube coming soon. But I wanna throw this out there. I'm excited. I'm legitimately excited for this because it is, it is, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Now, for some people, this is automatically gonna be a turn off, but right here is your water bottle pocket. It is an internal water bottle pack, water bottle packet, which I know some people don't like, and I get that. But again, with the way this bag is laid out, it makes sense that it'd be on the inside because it's trying to stay compact. 
In here, I also was able to put like my sunglass case on my trip. I also can fit my DJI mic kit in here. I like to have a water bottle, obviously, because you never know when you might need one. And this one, I can put my tea in because it has a little steeper inside of there. So right there with nothing else in there except for my laptop in this pocket we're about to talk about, that is the main compartment, essentially. That is how much room you get. That is the whole 18 liters, good elastic water bottle pocket. And then you have this pocket up here at the front. This is like your only internal organization that you have. And in here, this is where I put my contact drops because my contacts dry out. And then my AirPod Pros. And then the only other thing I have in here is my 15 inch Mac book pro now on their website bellroy says it can fit up to a 16 inch i believe it now the padding on the bottom here is actually pretty good so like your laptop ends like right about here and there's some beefy padding like beefy right here so great 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 laptop protection on bellroy's part and that is essentially the entirety so when it comes to the bellroy via work pack i really think this is a good bag if you want to use it as a personal item on the flight or if you just wanna use it for your everyday use, this thing is a sleeper hybrid bag that I really, really enjoy. And yet again, I feel like Bellroy has knocked it out of the park. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. You can always shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com, where I'm more than happy to answer any questions, comments, show you any kind of suggestions, more videos, pictures, whatever it is you might need on the bag that I'm reviewing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. And with all of that being said, I will see you next time.